Hello everyone, it's Tomas here, and this is a very short tutorial to teach you how to get started with the Victor project – voice over activities to improve oral production. So, first of all, what's the Victor project? Well, this is a task-based audiovisual project, which is based on the use of short classic American advertisements. We have a selection of clips for you to work on in the ways that we will specify later. But this is also a collaborative initiative to improve your oral production skills using the techniques of voiceover and dubbing, which together we may call revoicing, because there is either a substitution or an addition of an audio track to a pre-existing product, in your case, the American advertisements. Why is it collaborative then? Because apart from doing your own self-evaluation, you must evaluate the work of other students based on the criteria that you will be provided. With this in mind, this is what you're supposed to do. Follow these simple steps. First of all, download the short video with which you're going to work. It's an American advertisement. Then transcribe it using a Word document or any other word processor. After that, you must record a new audio track with your voice, and we will explain what the different stages comprise. And lastly, you must edit the final version, including your own audio track. Is there anything else that you need to know? Well, certainly, there are three separate stages for your work with each of the advertisements. Stage number one means using the original script that you transcribed directly from the original advertisement and imitating it when you record. Imitating means trying to synchronize the text with the image, also emulating the pronunciation and trying to use the same intonation. Stage two is a little bit different. The guided script means that you are given a number of words and key expressions that you must include in a script that you write yourself. The content may be different, but those keywords and phrases must necessarily be in your script. Then you record that script and it has to be synchronized with what happens on the screen. Finally, on stage 3, you can freestyle. You write your own script and get as crazy as possible. Let us now get into the specifics of each of the stages. Stage number one meant imitation. That is, you need to use the technique of voiceover. The original audio track will remain, but the volume will be reduced. So the predominant track that will be heard is the one that you record. This is a superimposition of voices, a voiceover. In a separate tutorial, I teach you how to superimpose voices using the Windows and the Mac platforms. The steps to be followed on stage 1 are number 1. Transcribing the video, reading the text several times, paying attention both to pronunciation and intonation, also to synchrony, recording your own version, and then editing the video to include your new track. For this, you take the video, lower the volume of the original track, and add the new track that you have recorded. Let's move on to the second stage. This means using keywords and the technique of dubbing. So, there is a complete substitution of the original track for a new one that is recorded by you. For this, number one, produce a new script where the keywords and phrases that we provide are included. Then, record your own version and don't forget about synchrony. Your own version must be written by you and this script must include the keywords and phrases. Number three, create the new video, substituting the original track with the new audio track. We will be looking at some examples in a moment. The third stage is the one that you will probably enjoy the most, because you're given complete creative freedom to produce your new script without any limitations concerning keywords or phrases, but you may also choose which revoicing technique to employ. You may choose between voiceover preserving the original track at a lower volume and superimposing your own, or dubbing, substituting the original track with your own original version. After you write the script, make sure that your story is synchronized and make it believable. Then record the audio track and create the new video as you did in the previous stages. Now the time to get practical has finally arrived. This is a sample task. First, I will show you the original video. The product being advertised is called Dristen, and it's a type of hay fever tablet. There you go.
When hay fever pollen invades your sinuses, brings runny nose, watery eyes, take Dristan. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Yes, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. That is, Dristan helps you breathe free and easy, as if you were far away from pollen or allergy irritation. Yes, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Helps dry, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes. You see, Dristan tablets shrink swollen, congested nasal and sinus passages which cause runny nose and watery eyes. So you breathe free and easy fast. So when pollen invades your sinuses causing hay fever miseries, don't wish you could be in sunny, dry Arizona. Just remember, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Get Dristan decongestant tablets. That one was ingenious, don't you think? Then, after we have downloaded the video and watched it a few times, we transcribe it, practice for a while, and we make our own recording imitating the original pronunciation. Then we edit the video and lower the volume of the original track to superimpose our own track with a higher volume. Take a look. When hay fever pollen invades your sinuses, brings runny nose, watery eyes, take Dristan. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Yes, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. That is, Dristan helps you breathe free and easy, as if you were far away from pollen or allergy irritation. Yes, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Helps dry, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes. You see, Dristan tablets shrink swollen, congested nasal and sinus passages which cause runny nose and watery eyes. So you breathe free and easy fast. So when pollen invades your sinuses causing hay fever miseries, don't wish you could be in sunny dry Arizona. Just remember, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Get Dristan decongesting tablets. There you are. Those are the results of the first stage. In the second stage, we have to create part of the script, including the keywords and phrases. This time we are dubbing. Then the substitution is complete. The version that you record should be the only one that is heard. But what about these keywords and phrases? How do we find them? For each of the tasks, there is an accompanying document that indicates which words and short phrases you must include in the script. There is no need to add any other information from the original version. In this example, we had to use the following. Hay fever invades your sinuses. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. As this was the slogan, we are told to use it four times in total. Then came breathe free and easy fast and miseries. Take a look at this. Have you ever felt that there is no escape from hay fever even in your own home? Dristan will put a stop to that because Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Yes, you had that right. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. These wonderful tablets will help you breathe free and easy fast. Don't forget, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. And that Arizona suntan will make you look far more handsome than you already are. Dristan tablets are unique in that you will still suffer all the effects of springtime miseries, but the top secret chemical compounds will force your brain to green and bear it like a true champion. You will fool everyone at the office with your balloon eyes and your fake smile. There will be more than enough time to wallow in your pain after driving back home for 20 miles with a splitting headache. Remember, take a tablet and start hallucinating. After all, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona and leaving the rest of your body behind. There you had the new script with all of the words and expressions that were compulsory. Now, on stage 3, complete freedom. It's time to get crazy. As in stage 3 we're given the choice between voiceover and dubbing, here's an example using the dubbing technique. Hey fever you say? That's a pretty poor excuse to justify your tardiness to the PR staff. You will have to do much better. Why not try Dristan, the perfect solution for the sick, the tired and the stunningly underpaid. Purchase a large suitcase, hide inside it and send yourself to the middle of the Arizona desert dressed in loose summer clothes. A sigh of relief will be your immediate reaction. Think about it. 
If the company cannot locate you, you can sit back and relax for a couple of days until they call the police. In the meantime, put your sunglasses on and stick a butterfly to your face so that everyone thinks you're a masked desperado. Poor interior lighting will accentuate the impression and perplex the locals. Laughing like a maniac will probably save you the plane ticket as they will send you back the way you came. No need to call in sick and rub your temples while you Skype your company to request a severance package. You must have been well fired by now. Consider taking a cyanide capsule and putting your legs up before you board your flying suitcase to the land of floating, decongesting tablets. Good luck! <sighs> Once you complete the three stages, you have almost finished. It's time to share your work with others, self-evaluate and evaluate the tasks that others have accomplished. First, upload your work to the Victor Project YouTube channel, which we have created specifically for you. And after that, once your videos are uploaded and identified correctly, self-assess your work and assess the work of your peers using the rubric that is also provided. Let us take a look at the procedure step by step. Working directly in our desktop, we have the information organized. The first video with the original reproduction of the script. The second video where we substituted the script and we included some keywords and expressions. And the third one where we had creative freedom. In addition, we have also compiled all the transcripts from the first, the second and also the third video, which we will use in a moment. After we have made our work public, through YouTube to the members of the Victor project. Go to YouTube and click on Sign In. There you will be requested a username, Victor Project 2017, and also a password. The password is written on the screen, Victor 2017. After introducing those data, you will be granted access to the Victor project profile. Please make sure that these aren't your data, otherwise you will be uploading your work to your account instead of the Victor Project account. Click on the Upload button and you will be given the choice of selecting the files to upload from your desktop or your hard drive or dragging and dropping them directly on this window. The privacy of the list should be set to public so that everybody can see it. Choose your files, in my case 1, 2 and 3 and click Open. They will immediately start to be uploaded and the duration of the upload will very much depend on how fast your internet connection is. While your work is being uploaded, there are several things you must check. First of all, that each of the videos is set as public. Then, you should create your own playlist with your name and compile all of your videos using that tag. In my case, I create a public list that is called Tomás Costal and all my work will be classified under Tomás Costal after I upload it. The tick is already there and the list will be included as Tomás Costal. As you may see here, adverts Victor and Uned identify this video and facilitate the search. I'm going to add another one, Dristan, the name of the product being advertised. The thumbnail or the picture that characterizes each of the videos may be chosen from the three options that you are given. In this case, I'm going to choose the first picture and it will change in a few seconds. You will see it change in a moment. Then, in the video description, you add a short characterization of what your video is. As this is a sample exercise, I will write sample task, same script as in the original, stage 1. And under that, my name. You may do the same, with the exception of sample task. When you have all the fields completed and everything has been checked, then go to the Advanced Settings. In the Advanced Settings, you can see the category, already there, Education, the Language, English, and click on Today to set the recording date. With that, you have finished with the first video. You should follow the exact same procedure with the other videos after the changes are saved. In Dristan 2, we expand the information, we see that the video is public, we add it to our own playlist, my list is called Tomás Costal, your list will bear your name or some other form of identification, we edit the new tags, Dristan, the name of the product, the thumbnail, the picture that identifies the video is the one that I selected, the second one, and in the video description I write sample task, modified script with keywords and phrases, and my name again, Tomás Costal, UNED. After we have finished with the first tab, we go to the advanced settings because the thumbnail is the one we chose 
and the rest of the information is correct. The category is already written, the language is fine, and the recording date the 29th of November. Finally, with the third video, it is still processing, then the thumbnail pictures are not available. The list is public, we add it to our own playlist, we add the tags once again, Dristen, and in the video description we write something that identifies the work that we have finished. For instance, sample task, free adaptation, stage 3, and again our name so that our peers can assess our work and read our own self-assessment. In advanced settings, more of the same. In advanced settings, more of the same. Recording date, today. We say that the video is finishing the processing stage, but the thumbnails are not yet available. In the meantime, I will add stage 2 to the second video because I had forgotten to identify it in that way. There are a few more options available, but we don't need to use them for videos as short as these. For instance, you will receive information concerning the stability or the quality of the video and the audio. This is very old recording. Then there is no need to improve it. It won't improve at all. The colors do not need to be stabilized either. Now the last of our videos is finally processed in full. So we have the option of choosing a different thumbnail, the third. And usually in less than 30 seconds, if your internet connection is fast enough, the photograph will be changed and we will have concluded our characterization of each of the videos we have produced. Revise that everything is correct and once you're ready, you only have to click Publish All to make the batch of videos public at the same time. You see that the information is compressed and you're given several links if you want to send them to somebody. When you click on any of the videos, a new tab will open and they will be automatically played. Have a look, then pause them and click on the subtitles and CC button immediately under the black screen. Then you will see that Subtitles have been added using voice recognition software, but if you want a better version, click on the blue rectangle, select the language, English, and then go to the Transcript and Automatic Synchronization tab. There you will see a text box that will receive the transcript that you had previously produced as input. Then go back to the transcript that you had produced for that specific video, copy the whole text, go back to the text box, and paste it there. If the text is revised and corrected, once you click the blue button, YouTube will start processing, cutting the text in chunks and adding it as a subtitle at the bottom of the image. It will be better than the voice recognition, but it won't be a perfect subtitle either. It will simply be a complete transcript of what can be heard. So, what else should you do after you have uploaded the videos and added the transcript? Go back to each of the videos and self-assess your work. Remember that as this was a task-based collaborative project, you should self-assess your work and then assess the work of other students using the exact same set of criteria. Here you are given the chance to use the assessment rubric and evaluate each of the fields specified there. For example, beginning with synchrony, synchrony between the track that you have recorded and the image, if it makes sense or not, if it's credible, believable, then the pronunciation, intonation, characterization, particularly when there are people speaking directly to the camera, and then the sound effects, if you have added any. Then you sum it up and give a total number of marks. But after the quantitative data come the comments and observations. That should serve as an overall assessment of the decisions that you've made to help the other person or yourself do better the next time. Read the whole comment, check that everything is correct and do the same with the rest of your videos and also your peers' contributions to the Victor Project YouTube channel. I hope that you've found all of this complex information a bit clarifying. Make sure that you check the other tutorials on how to produce the recordings and to mix the sound with the image. Thanks for watching and goodbye!